Now, let's talk about vendor-specific technologies for your career. You see, many people would only focus with one vendor, which mm. is Cisco. Most of the time, okay, you started with your CCNA, you know, Cisco route, routers and Cisco switches. But do you think it's a good idea to also specialize with other vendors? So, you know Cisco, mm. routing switching, basic concept of networking, but you will also specialize in one specific vendor. For example, specializing in Palo Alto networks, specializing in F5, specializing in Fortinet. What do you think will benefit for the careers of any IT professionals? I mean, it's always good to have uh, as many certifications as you can have and as and be certified or specialized in uh, as many vendors. Uh, but in my opinion, it's hard to keep up with too many vendors, you know, because as we all know, uh, once you acquire some certification, it's not forever. You have to recertify. So switching too much between like uh, too many vendors mm -hmm. can be ve very exhausting, you know. I, I would recommend uh, to go up to three vendors. I think two would, should yeah. be the max, right? Yeah. <laughs> two is uh, like... Uh, or three is the max, two is the ideal. Yeah, it, it's ideal to, to keep uh, two vendors mm -hmm. uh, in under your belt. Uh, of course, it depends uh, up to which level you want to go. If it's admin level, you can maybe keep up with even four mm -hmm. vendors, you know. But if you want to go professional level, or even expert level, yeah, uh, I think two is... Is enough, huh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. so for you guys, let's, let's give them an idea. If you have three vendors of choice, mm -hmm. what vendor technologies would you pick? Three, top three. If, you, if this is the only vendor technologies that you would specialize, what are these top three? Mm, well, I'm biased. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm emotional and I like... Attached to this yeah. vendor. <laughs> uh, F5 is my personally my favorite. Mm -hmm. And Palo Alto is like se close, closely second, you know. Um, so I'm kind of biased. Uh, it doesn't mean that that everyone should go for those two vendors, yeah. Well, uh, uh, the reason behind it, I think, uh, and this is my personal opinion, this is not uh, official or whatever, Palo Alto Networks have, w if not the best, but one of the best uh, next generation firewalls, network firewalls, and F5 has one of the best WAFs, web application firewalls. So working with and uh, studying about those two technologies me, makes me very ex excited, you know. So F5 and Palo Alto, what mm -hmm. would be the third one? The third one? Hmm, that's a hard question. Well, I assume Cisco because... Safest? S yeah, it's safest, yeah. <laughs> All right, Th that's interesting because if we're gonna use an analogy, car analogy, our Ferrari would be F5. Yeah. Palo mm. Alto should be P, stands for Porsche, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you could go with that. Yeah, and your Cisco would be uh, Toyota. Well, yeah, Do you agree? <laughs> because it's too big, too many options, too many models, yeah. and it's reliable and it's safe and this and that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the good thing about specializing in vendor technologies mm. versus vendor neutral is mm -hmm. this: if you specialize in one or two vendors. If you have all of these, not all, but many certifications from one or two specific vendors, mm. and if you're really good at it, you can actually get hired by the, the vendors themselves. Yeah. Well, I would, I would not uh, like um, uh, isolate or like have a negative opinion about vendor neutral certifications because it depends on the uh, position, the role, and the situation. For instance, if you want to be a Linux uh, admin or Linux engineer, 
uh, it's pers- uh, uh, it's fine to go with vendor neutral like uh, Linux Foundation or Linux Professional Institute mm-hmm. certifications. Mm-hmm. If you want to do uh, offensive security red teaming or defensive security blue teaming, um, like in SOC, or work in SOC or something, again, vendor neutral certifications are fine. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. But if you want to uh, be a network security engineer or network engineer, architect, yeah, then um, better choice is to go with vendor, vendor yeah, yeah, specific technologies. Yeah, yeah. So I, I wouldn't talk negative about vendor neutral. Yeah, of course. Uh, it depends on the position, role, situation, what you want to do. You mm-hmm. know. So yeah. I, I believe the role that is. Um, really match the vendor path will mm. be architect level. Yeah. For yeah. example, in Cisco, if you specialize in their security platforms, mm. even in network, you can be a security architect, network architect, mm. even in cloud. Yeah. If you're AWS expert, you can be a, a solutions architect for mm. the cloud, for AWS or for Google Cloud. Same with F5, mm. right? If you specialize all F5 technologies, which is possible, you work with F5 as an architect. Yeah. Where in, if you're gonna focus on vendor neutral, it's not really towards the architect position. Do you agree? Um, when, it, when it comes to Linux, um, I think Linux Professional Institute has architect level mm-hmm. certifications. Not sure about Linux Foundation. Um, maybe they have, maybe they, they don't, I don't know. Yeah, but for everything else, um, yeah, you cannot call yourself quite uh, like architect or expe- uh, expert level. Mm-hmm. Um, because yeah. the, their certification is not towards to that path. For example, yeah. Comtia yeah. certifications. Yeah. There's no path to architect mm-hmm. level or understanding the design of network, the design of the security, at least on my opinion. Yeah. And uh, what I always tell people the reason why you have to go for vendor certification, at least one or a couple or even more certifications mm. on your resume is that if you go for all Comtia, do you think Comtia will hire you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right? correct, yeah. If you go all F5, all Palo Alto network certifications, mm. you will have a chance to work with Palo Alto, with F5, yeah. with Cisco. Well, um, with Comtia, the, it makes sense to have just and only Com- knowledge. Uh, Comtia certifications if you are uh, employed by DOD. You, oh yeah. N- yeah, the US DOD. Special Security Plus. Yeah, uh, yeah. I would say, um, in my opinion, uh, one of the best Comtia uh, certifications are Linux Plus and Security Plus. Hands down. Yeah, hands yeah. down. Security Plus is really for me is like the CCNA of security. Yeah, yeah. or yeah. Uh, you know, uh, associate junior level security. Mm-hmm. Um, because I, I have a course. I have a course in Udemy. Mm-hmm. I have to update it, add more modules. But for me, understanding network security policies, application, even the offensive side, is all there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you understand Security Plus, the entirety, um, cover to cover. Mm. Y- you will have a future if you understand yeah. it really yeah. well. I mean, um, for instance, uh, I-, I will be honest with you. Um, since uh, on my certification path to CSC for F5, mm-hmm. I had to pass exam for ASM. Um, while I was preparing for uh, CompTIA Security Plus, uh, this knowledge, fundamental knowledge, helped me with preparation for ASM, you know, because uh, some attacks, some uh, exposures were not that new to me because I already uh, had some uh, uh, knowledge about them from Security Plus. Okay, uh, I had knowledge from also other uh, education and so on, but Security Plus gives you good fundamental, like you said, uh, it's CCNA for security. Like and uh, whoever, um, uh, I think you mentioned this in a couple of your videos uh, before. Uh, if you want to start with security, go with CCNA, 
uh, FICA and Security Plus. Yeah. Those three uh, uh, certifications will give you very good fundamental knowledge to continue with anything in security. Yeah. So Security Plus, yeah, I recommend.